Hi again, guys. Sorry I haven't posted videos for a while, but I've been a bit busy. I'm no longer working at the tackle shop and just been busy doing a few other things. Um, what I was going to do is make something for you guys today that a lot of people get into here on the coast or actually around Australia. I used to make these in the tackle shop all the time. People used to love these rigs. So now I thought I'm going to make them at home and sell them. But the only difference is with the rigs I'll make here, it's the same as you get the ones that are in the shop you used to love. But these ones I won't be making with uh, the cheap cheap gear which the tackle shops you know, usually use, the cheap hooks, cheap leader, everything to make the rigs. What I'm going to do is make you guys good quality rigs. So I'm going to be using good leader. So I'm going to be using Black Magic leader in the main line and the droppers, both. So we've got the Shogun swivels. They're the crimp swivels. And the swivels on top, the 200 pound swivels for the top. They're Shogun as well. The hooks are actually uh, inline circles. They're BKK, proper good hooks. These are really are a nice hook. And you know, stock standard squids and tubes and everything else that goes with it. So basically, okay. Let's start with the rig. These rigs, these deep drop rigs I'm making, aren't for the huge fish. A lot, a lot of people like chasing, like flame snapper, big pearl perch, uh, a few bar cod in around 150 to say 250 meters, so just over the shelf. And these are the rigs I'm going to make for you today. These rigs will work very well for those species. They're a little, little bit lighter than the big heavy duty you know, deep drop rigs for blue eye and the big bass groper and everything else. They're quite big heavy things. So these ones, the main line, the main dropper line is 200 pound. The branch lines, that's the one to the hook. I'm going to make them, um, they're 100 pound, okay? The hooks are a NATO inline circle, beautiful strong hook, small and catch pretty much everything, including some nice big burlies. These are great hooks. Okay, so down to it, it's quite easy. So what I'll do is cut the main line. This is going to be a main line through the middle. This is 200 pound. So what I do is I make them roughly a meter between hooks. So I cut one end, I measure out, that's roughly a meter, okay? So I do one, two, three, and last one, four. So that measures out four. Okay, now to start. Now what we do, what I do, is just a bit of tube. So basically, protector tube. And crimps. What I'm going to use today is double crimps, like little black double crimps, the twos. Uh, the main line's one to fit 200 pound, I think it was 1.6 mil. Yeah, 1.6. These things fit perfectly. Okay, for your 200. So crimp on first, then a bit of protective tube, and then I've just got a small crane swivel. This is going to be for the sinker end. I'll explain how this works later. It's very simple. So just slide it down, slide your tube up like so. Pull it down. Okay, now we just crimp that. Usually I'll get a second hole, second hole in for these ones. Just nice and snug, you don't have to squash the bejesus out of them. Just nice and snug like so. Okay, this is going to be for your tying your sinker on later. I'll just explain that one. Now what we do, now that that's on, the three swivels, these are your Shogun crimp on swivels, crimps. These ones are, I think are like a 120 pound or something rated. So more than enough for the fish you're chasing. You're not chasing the big, huge things. You're going to chase nice eating fish like flamies and pearlies mainly. So basically to slide one on, you should have three. Number two. Now, number three. So just slide them all on. They won't go anywhere, the swivel on the other end. Now on this end, same deal. Double crimp, 1.6 mil for 200. So slide that on. Protected tube. And now the heavy duty show gun, this is like three or four hundred pounds swivel, okay? That's gonna crimp onto your main line. Put it through. There we go. Slide it down like so. Now just crimp this again. So the second one in, just crimp down, nice and snug, don't go too tight. 
and they crimp down beautifully. That will never pull out or break. Okay, now the fun part. See, swivel on one one inch, and you got your three crimp on swivels. So now, slide the first one along, so it's about a metre, roughly, arm's length, that's all. Doesn't have to be precise. Now with your smallest crimp right on the end, just crimp these swivels on. Just one crimp either side. Crimp them down to the main line. That's it, just crimp them onto the main line, that's it. They're not sliding anywhere. Fixed, it's done. Now the next one, grab that swivel. Roughly about a metre, arm's length, okay? Once again, crimp them on again. One crimp either end of these swivels. Just a nice crimp, straight down. Don't squash the ends in and make them sharp. Make the ends flare up a little bit, so go in as close as you can to the swivel, to the centre, so the ends flare up, doesn't put a sharp edge on them, okay? Now one more, one more. Basically got an arm's length there. Slide this one down. And once again, smaller sole on the end, just crimp it down. Okay, so there's your main line. So we've got our swivel, first hook, second hook, third hook, and sinker. So we'll just drop that in the floor for a minute. Now what I've done, I've already pre-cut three of these. These are 100 pounds. And they're about 12 inches long, roughly. I usually do about 12 inches, okay? So, once again, same sort of thing. Double crimps. I've got smaller ones this time. These ones are a 1.3 mil. They fit the 100 pounds quite nicely. So, crimp on. Hook. Don't worry about tube on the hooks. You want your circle hook free swinging so it works properly. You put a tube on there, that ain't free swing. Okay, just make a nice little loop like so. You can put a flemish shine in there if you like, but it'll actually pull down tight, your first fish. Just a, a little eye. And once again, crimp down. Don't crimp the ends. Flare the ends up like so. Hopefully you can see that. They flare it up a bit. And the hook's going to be free swinging. It's going to do its job well. Okay, now, fun part. Just dress it up a bit. Here's a squid. To go over your hook and your bait. Okay, now I'm just going to use a. Uh, these are an orange ball. These are Lumo, but they're orange. Just I use different colours to dress them up a bit. So just a ball, and then we just got some tube. This is a Lumo green, and this also protects the line from your know, raspy teeth a bit. So that's it. Okay. There's your hooks. That's one. Now we'll just do another two. Once again, 1.3 mil krill, uh, 1.3 mil for the crimps, for, for the 100 pound, for the 100 pound uh, black magic anyway. Just put it in, slide it down, just make a little loop. Like so. Squash down. Just make sure you flare the end up once again. That's it. Never undo or break. It's all good. Another squid. Let's go a different colour this time. Okay. Once again, I've got me orange balls and green tube. Hey, okay, number two. Last one. Repeat the process. Small crimp. Okay, just a little loop. Squash them down, like so. Nice and easy. Different coloured squid this time again. Nice multi coloured thing. And don't worry if not everything's like Lumo, like some of these squids are, some aren't. The tubes are, the beads are, but when you run these rigs, generally you got lights on them too. So you got a flashing light, so there will be plenty of colour and stuff down there, as it is. Yeah, true. There we go. One, two, three. See? 
now to finish this rig off. So you've got your main line. The best thing about these rigs, if you catch a few fish, all you've got to go do is when you go home and they're a bit rusty or whatever, you don't lose them to snags, hopefully. Just go home, make some more hooks. Generally, these main lines will last for quite a long time. Okay, so just go home and make some more hooks. You can generally use squids and stuff again because most of those fish haven't got sharp teeth. Now what we do with the hooks, small, once again, 1.3 on the end, and two uh, crimp-on swivels, just crimp them on. Actually, sorry guys, my fault there. I forgot something. On that end, I like to put a bit of tube. So just a small bit of tube, one, can need three. This is just like a one mil clear tube you can get from most tackle shops. It's just a line protector. Okay, so crimp. Now, bit of tube. Ugh, need new eyes. Now I can put it on me. That was my first little, first little. Doesn't matter what color goes on what hooks either. Just put them on. Okay. Do it so pull it down nice and snug like so and once again just crimp it right in the middle all right there's one beautiful a green one next Actually, might go a bright orange one in the middle. Okay, crimp tube once again. Just crimp on. Put it down nice and snug. Once again, crimp in the middle. Don't squash the ends of the crimps down. You don't want to make them sharp. Just make them flare out so they're not too sharp and not going to do any damage to your line. Okay, one, two, last one. And like I said, guys, um, I'm now making these rigs from home. So if you want to buy them, I will put a link down below in the comments on where you can go to buy these rigs. And I said the difference is between mine and the tackle shops. So I'm using top quality gear to make these. So these are good quality rigs made of good quality gear. Not cheap line, not cheap hooks. Okay, so there's a good quality deep drop rig. Use it in the 50s of pearlies as well. Another one out wider. Look at that. One, two, three. Good quality, all good quality gear should last quite a long time. If you don't snag it, like I said, just go home. You got to place your, your, I can't even think of the name now, hook lines. You can replace that occasionally if it gets a bit rust, you know, chewed up with some rusty teeth. That's all. But the actual main rig and main line you should keep for quite a long time as long as you don't get it snagged and break it off. Okay, so if you're interested, guys, yes, I'll leave a link where you can go find them. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll do some more rigs shortly on other types of rigs. And yeah, see how we go from there. Thanks. Bye. Well, now that the rig's done, I nearly forgot one important bit. Sorry, guys. Um, on this rig, you saw I'm using two swivels, like two crane swivels. One bigger one for the connect to your main line. On the other end, there's a smaller one. And that's to tie your sinker on. Most people get a bit confused with this bit. When we're deep dropping, like with electric reels and stuff out wider, we don't actually crimp or tie the sinkers to the heavy main line. Because generally the sinkers are the part that get snagged. And these rigs can be quite expensive, especially if you start losing your fuel and sinkers, well, big leads, very expensive now. But instead of losing the whole lot, what we do nowadays is with the smaller swivel, all we do is like a 50 pound 30 or 50 pound, I prefer you run 50, 
okay? Um, just trace line, around about a foot, foot and a half long, that's all. Just tie that to your bottom swivel, to the smaller swivel. This is what we call a breakaway. So if your rig gets snagged, instead of losing everything, what we do is just use a breakaway about a foot long to the sinker. And if worse things happen and get snagged, 50 pound will break a lot easier than 200. And say 80 pound braid, and 100 pound braid. Okay, so you just 50 pound to your deep drop sinker. Usually they're like a two kilo sinker, depending on the depth and the current. But just remember, that's all that small swivel at the bottom's for. It's just to tie a 50 pound break away, okay? And tie your sinker on, that's it. 50 pound shouldn't break too easy. It won't break on the way down or anything, or anything. so don't panic about losing any of your sinkers. It'll only break if you get snagged. And it's better, better just losing one sinker than your whole rig, okay? Now, that's it. Thanks, guy. Bye.